Hi, I'm Sean, one of the news editors at Manx Radio, and the big news over the weekend was that the Island Games are coming home to the Isle of Man. In 2029, the Isle of Man will be the host island for the Games, having hosted the first edition in 1985 and most recently hosted the Games in 2001. So just what goes into bringing the Games to the island and what needs to be done between now and 2029? Live on Manx Radio Breakfast this morning, I spoke to the chair of the bid committee, Gary Corkill. It's a fantastic opportunity for the Isle of Man. As you say, we have hosted it twice before, but it's such a a wonderful event uh, that we've we've been looking forward to re-hosting it for a number of years now. And we're delighted that we've finally got the opportunity to bring it, as you say, back home to the Isle of Man. Now, we've known for a while that the Isle of Man has been the preferred candidate for the 2029 game. So just what have you had to do to get this bid over the line? So, yes, we, we originally did put a bid in to the Inter- International Island Games Association to ask, ask to be uh, a, a potential host. And we were given we were given preferred bidder status. However, recently uh, up in Orkney, there has been a, a one year to go event for the next games, which has been in Orkney next July. And as part of that, they have their annual general meeting where all the member islands come together uh, to tr- transact various business. And at that meeting, then we basically had to put a presentation to to the, all of the islands about our bid, what we could hope to provide for them in, in an island games. Uh, and we then have to wait and be basically be voted on by all of the islands to say yes or no, and they, whether we actually have got the uh, island games for 2029. Now, the island last hosted the Games in 2001. What's been the legacy since those Games? Uh, Well, I think, uh, and this applies to all the island's representatives I spoke to over the weekend, it just sort of generates enthusiasm, interest in sport right across the board, Uh, especially some of the the newer sports. Uh, We've seen uh, development in a number of sports since the Island Games came to the Isle of Man. Uh, and some of the sports have really run on and got involved in a lot of high-level competitions since then. It also enthusiasts, enthusiasts, coaches and officials who all want to be part of a successful event. Now, I know we've previously heard from government that they have some funds set aside to prepare facilities and whatnot for these games. What work does need to take place between now and 2029? Well, uh we're, we're fortunate in a lot of the facilities, especially in and around the National Sports Centre, have been refurbished over the last six or seven years. So while we've still got work to do, we're in a, a really good place. Uh, we, we do have ongoing maintenance of all our facilities and we've, we've got a guarantee that that will be continued. But we've also got, uh, we will also apply for capital funding, again, as part of a maintenance programme for a, a, a work on the, the track the all-weather pitch at the bowl and the grandstand at the NSC. So those are the sort sort of things over and above the the normal uh, maintenance that will be taking place between now and 2029. And over the next uh, five years, Gary, what does your role now involve? Are you going to have a a busy few years ahead to get everything together? Yes, well, up to now, we've had a, there's been a lot of work that's gone on uh, with what, what we call the bid committee. So now that we've, we've, We've done that piece of work. Uh, we, we've got our bid accepted. We will now start to form an organising committee. So some of those on that bid committee will continue with that role uh, and then we'll expand that out uh, to the, the, the people that will be involved in individual uh, pieces of work in, in terms of the games. And we're now talking about all the coach coordinators, uh, people to look, look at sponsorship, medal ceremonies, uh, all those things that go together to put up on, on the games. So although it's five years away, it will quite quickly come along to us as far as the work is concerned for pre- pre- preparing for those games. Thank you for making it to the end of the Manx Radio newscast. You are obviously someone with exquisite taste. May I politely suggest you might want to subscribe to this and a wide range of Manx Radio podcasts at your favourite podcast provider so our best bits will magically appear on your smartphone. Thank you.